What's going on everyone? Roscoe here, we are back. So today's video, we got a first-hand look of a sample pair of a Yeezy 451. And looking at the reactions across the internet, woo, everyone is absolutely roasting this sneaker. However, there's a lot of information about this shoe that not a lot of people are talking about that I do wanna share in this video. And I also wanna give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this Yeezy 451. First, I don't know what's going on with this week. We got a turtle dove sample that just popped up. And then we also got this crazy pirate black sample, which looks absolutely insane. So we're gonna dive into it all in today's video. So without further ado, all right, let's talk about these Yeezy 451. If you look at it, it isn't the most flattering picture of a sample slash prototype sneaker. And there's been memes all over the internet that had me dying. It had this shoe in a platter full of dumplings and it looked exactly like the food. I don't know, it had me cracking up. There's a lot of information on this sneaker that not a lot of people are talking about. One, it's probably worth a crazy amount of money. I believe that this is the same exact pair that Ye wore during Paris Fashion Week earlier this year. Even though it's a gym sock on top of a sole, having a Ye prototype that he wore, this shoe's probably worth $5,000 plus. The 451 will not be releasing, so this shoe will not be releasing. You notice Yeezy Mafia said, Yeezy 451 sample. Expect the Yeezy 450 to be released. It looks like they're playing around with a bunch of options on this sneaker. So I believe the 451 was made for Ye, and we're gonna be getting something different. Maybe very similar, same as the sole. I think that's the most iconic thing from this shoe is the sole, and that will be on the 450 that we can expect later this year. Now we have seen sample pairs of the 450s in the Yeezy Forbes video. He had all the shoes around him and then there was like a little side of all the 450s and they look nothing like this. I think the pair that we're getting will have more structure to it. If you can tell, I think they can do a lot of options with that 450 sole. With the whole hands grasping it, I think they can redesign that sneaker in multiple ways. Very similar to what they did with the 700 series, how they kept the iconic 700 sole, and then they just switched up the upper. I think they could do this with the 450 line. They could attach a sock to it. You know, if people want to wear it as a sock, kind of like, you know, like an Alexander Wang type sneaker for Adidas, or they can put more structure to it. You know, I think they could do a lot of options, but again, it being all white, you know, it looks like a gym sock. It's not the best looking sneaker, I will say. When they add more color to it, you know, swap out the laces, I think they could do a lot with this shoe and I'm still excited about it. You know, I mentioned in the past that this is one of my most anticipated sneakers for 2020. It still is. You know, if they do end up releasing this 451, I wouldn't expect it to be expensive because it's just a sock with a sole. I don't expect the 451 releasing. I think this was just a cool, you know, picture of a sample prototype. You know, you kind of see their thought process and where this shoe started from to probably the final version that we're gonna get later this year. So guys, let me know what you think of the Yeezy 451. Let me hear it. But like I said, I don't expect this shoe to be releasing. All right, so now let's take a look at these never before seen original Turtle Dove sample and a Pirate Black V1 sample. What? This is unheard of. Through my years of covering Yeezy sneakers, like I've seen Yeezy samples. I've had opportunities to buy Yeezy samples. However, it's always 350 V2s to see original 350 V1, a turtle dove on top of that, like what? I, this shoe must have sold for like $5,000. And if you look at it, it looks like it's fully ready to go. Like it has a sample tag on, it's fully put together. It's not like a prototype. So this could have been the original colorway of a 350 V1. You know, we got the white and black speckled gray, you know, turtle dove. Imagine that colorway didn't exist and never released and said we got this one. I would not have liked that, but I will say, I do think this colorway should have dropped because if you look at the colorway, I think it looks dope. You know, it's a chocolate brown upper, has the black speckles on the knit, which is iconic to the V1. And then the sole, that sole color looks awesome with the brown hue on the upper. It's a Colgate gray, they're calling it. And it kind of just reminds me of like a bluish gray, very similar to like an old Nintendo or Super Nintendo you had when you were a kid. But it's just that gray sole, the chocolate upper, I think it looks really nice. I don't like it being a turtle dove, but I wouldn't mind if this was called something different and they released it. Should they bring it back? Should they retro the 350 V1s? That'd be interesting because what if they instead like, you know what, we're not gonna drop the turtle doves, we'll give you these ones instead, would you be okay? I think everyone would scoop it up for sure. You know, like I said, you never see this, so to actually have an image of this is pretty, pretty cool. So guys, let me know what you think about the original turtle dove sample. Would this be a cop for you? Man, this would definitely be a cop for me. So we got a turtle dove sample, and now we have an original pirate black sample. In this one, I can definitely see 
why they canceled it and they decided not to release this one. If you look at it, <laughs> I don't think a lot of people would like this shoe. This must be a little bit more expensive to make. It's basically a 350 V1 Pirate Black in all suede. So they took that knit upper and they just kind of cut it all off and just change it out with the suede upper. Definitely, you know, changes up the vibe for sure on this shoe. Usually with the 350s, it's like a trainer, it's an athletic sneaker, but if you switch it out with all suede, it kind of looks like a moccasin, like a casual wear sneaker, and I don't think that's the vibe they wanted. That suede looks super, super buttery. Put your finger right across it, changes color, so that's gotta be a little bit more pricier to make. <laughs> that shoe don't look breathable at all. I can picture my foot just sweating buckets in that sneaker. It's pretty cool to see. I would think this one be a little bit more expensive maybe than the turtle doves, I don't know. I would think maybe this one definitely be like 2,500. And it's very interesting, you know, from a design aspect because we don't see this from Yeezy or Adidas. You know, you see a sample, you see the start of it and see how they play around with the materials. You know, on this one, they played around with the suede, which is very similar to the suede that's on the inside, the medial side of a 350 V1. It looked like they just took it and they just made the whole entire shoe suede. If I ever owned a Turtle Dove sample or a Pirate Black sample, they would just sit in a case so everyone can see it, like a museum. I would definitely not wear it. Well guys, that is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the prototypes, the samples. Let's talk about those 451. But that is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.